everyone, this is Gwen Reyes at the Dallas International Film Festival. I'm here with the producer of Gook, Alex Chi. Thank you so much for coming and joining us this no, afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Great. So your film actually premiered earlier in the festival. How'd yes. the screenings go? Oh, the screenings went great. The premiere was Friday night, mm -hmm. and then we had another one on Saturday afternoon. Um, and it was great. My, my parents, are, who are actually from Dallas, were able to come and see oh, it. Oh, that's and so all cool. And my friends were able to come. So it was kind of like a homecoming. So it was great to be a part of the festival. Well, did you hear back from a lot of your friends? They yeah, were really yeah, excited. Yeah, they loved it. They were, they were really surprised on um, the, the, yeah, the subject matter. That has stuff. to feel really awesome when exactly, that happens. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was a great experience. So tell us a little bit about Gook. So Gook is um, it's about two Korean American brothers mm -hmm. um, who own a woman's shoe store in South Central and their unique friendship with this 11 year old African American girl. Mm -hmm. And um, the story goes through one day, but it happens during the first day of the LA riots um, with all this violence and stuff coming towards them. And um, it just kind of goes through their relationship and the dramas that happened during that one day. So, What did you know about that time in uh, Los Angeles in the early 1990s? Um, as a kid growing up in Dallas, not too much, yeah. but uh, moving to L.A., um, mm -hmm. you know, you do hear a lot more and you hear about, like, the Korean uh, shop owners who had, like, rifles on top of the stores and stuff and, and everything that happened, and especially, um, you know, developing this project and doing more research on it. You get to just know about all, like, the, um, you know, the hardships that went on in mm -hmm. both the Asian American community, African American, African American community, and just in general, um, in LA. So you said you grew up in Dallas. I grew up in Dallas. I grew up in Plano. And yeah. then you uh, moved on your way over to LA. What yes. were the biggest differences that you saw? Um, I guess just for me, after graduating college, moving back here, um, I was able to get you know a little bit more education in mm -hmm. the film industry. Um, and then moving to LA, just found that everyone does it there. It's just um, it was it was a Dallas was a great introduction into it, and then. Uh, move, moving back to moving out to LA was uh, was just good to kind of further my my career in film. So yeah, LA is such like a city that is larger than life, and and for people who oh, you know don't mm -hmm. get out there, was that as important to you as you saw being a part of the film that Los Angeles was kind of taking on a character of itself, you know, on a, all of its own? Yeah, I mean LA is like a different animal for sure. It's mm -hmm. it's just. Uh, it is a it is a crazy city, and that is definitely shown in the movie as well, especially back in 1992. So yeah. So what are you most uh, hoping that audiences get out of the film? Um, so I mean, anyone who's seen the film and you know I've read about it, it's it's you know, it's definitely like a slow burn, mm -hmm. and then it kind of just hits you towards the end. And basically, we just want people like we we made this film toward our writer, director, and actor Justin Chan. It was you know loosely based on some of um, the stuff that he went through growing up as well. And um, you know, we just want people to watch it and, and see a lot of the stuff, um, political, social climate that went on during 1992 is still very, very relevant, relevant today. today. Um, and you know, for us, it it was like it was intentional. It just happened that way. And mm -hmm. it's just you know, it doesn't seem like it's getting that much better. Was that something was. that was surprising to you to see that there hasn't really been that big of a change? I mean, so we we pushed to fast track this movie just because it, it, this year's the 25th anniversary of mm -hmm. the riots. Um, so we went into pre-production last year, and then with you know with everything that's that's going on socially, politically, and it just you know kind of like just confirmed our reason. You know our movie definitely needs to come out. It needs to come out now. People need to watch it, and people need to have like a discussion about it and see you know how watching this movie can you know open up our minds to racism during that time and racism yeah. during now, and still how it's very prevalent today. So. So what's yeah. next for Gook? Um, we are doing the festival circuit for the mm -hmm. next couple months. Um, we are closing our deal with our distributor, so um, hopefully it'll be in theaters in the fall. Awesome. Um, so we're really excited for it to you know, go to as many states as we can and, and reach as many people as, as, as we can. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, Alex, thank you so much for joining us, no, and I hope you that you have yeah. a great rest of your time yes, in Dallas. Yes, definitely. Awesome.